Welcome back to another vlog and welcome if you're new here. So I'm excited for today's vlog. I kind of promised y'all last week that we would have a deep clean with me for Friday's vlog. Um, pardon me, I'm a little still short of breath. We just got over being sick. I'm like 90% better at this point, but still dealing with a little bit of like congestion and all. But since we're past that point of like sickness really hitting us, I need to deep clean the house. So all week long, I've kept tidy, but I was like, I'm going to deep clean when we get home. We got to Lysol some stuff, bleach some floors, all that kind of stuff. Today's video is also a collaboration. So this collab is with a mom that I recently connected with here on YouTube. Her channel name is Felicia Faith. I'll have the link in the description and in the comments. Her channel is a lot of like shopping hauls and day in the life content. She's a work at home mom. Her vlog today is actually going to be a day in the life vlog. She said she's going to include things about how her days go at home while she's working. So I'm excited to watch that. If you haven't watched that already, go to the link down in the description and in the comment section and go watch her vlog. Let her know that you're linking over from my channel. If you're linking over from her channel. Hi, my name is Jessica. I am a mom of one little girl, Willow. She's two. She's currently napping right now. Um, I'm a stay at home mom. My husband, Michael works pretty much the majority of the time. Um, I cook, clean, decorate, do all the typical things that you would see on a mom vlog. I include things for motherhood and recipes, all that kind of stuff. I'm planning on doing Vlogmas this year. There's a train going by. If y'all hear that, I'm sorry. Planning on doing Vlogmas this year and sharing a lot of holiday content towards Thanksgiving time. I'm going to do a lot of recipes and things. So if that's your thing, I hope that you will subscribe and hit the notification where you don't miss anything. But I'm going to go ahead and jump into cleaning because it's already 1.45. Normally I've already started cleaning and vlogging at this point. Follow along while I clean. I'm sure this is going to be a long vlog. So if you've got laundry to do, things to clean, floors to clean, any dusting, anything like that, let's do it together and get it done whole house needs a good wipe down I'm ready for it to be all refreshed and ready for just normal life again so let's go do this I'm gonna start with my load of laundry I need to get it going can y'all hear my wind chimes I actually have the window open for the day this is like our one really fall day this week I think the high is 64 I don't know what the low I think tonight's low is like 46 um so I've got the window open now I'm gonna go sneak this in the wash and hopefully not wake Willow up while doing it know somebody's gonna ask or at least notice um, I don't separate my load of laundry because I literally have one good basket per week of my clothes and they're all like comfy clothes it's always like stretchy blue jean denim skirts cotton dresses and night clothes all that they're all the same material essentially <laughs> so all my stuff is already washed it's not gonna you know fade or dye anything else so I just have my laundry super easy I just do one bucket throw it in and go so normally I would wait until I was done cleaning to light a candle but I really want to smell like fresh smell already and so I thought I'd go ahead and light one this is one I recently got um actually I exchanged a candle that I had not used that I just didn't like after I got it home and I got this one it smells so good it's cuddle weather and it's warm gingerbread tea cinnamon shortbread and a cozy blanket it smells really really nice and fresh this is one I call my fall <laughs> cold weather candle because like when it feels cold outside I just feel like you want that 
really rich smell and it actually smells like pumpkin fall scent and mixed with a bonfire it really does so I think I'm gonna light this one because I haven't lit it yet but this one honestly oh, there's a little chip there this one's one of my favorites right now, but we're going to light this one in the living room and get it smelling fresh or in the kitchen. Yeah, this is, this is the, the living room right now. Um, this is life at this point. Willow stay is making her a little mess and I just have to clean it up every night, but she spilled some drinks and stuff. So we need to steam mop. My mind goes a 90 miles an hour. If you've been around here a while, you've probably noticed like I will clean all over the place. Um, so <laughs> I mean, if you're not used to me at this point, I guess you'll get used to me. <laughs> oh, this match has never worked good. Actually just remembered I ordered a new tripod on Amazon I got like an exceptional deal on it if it's really good I'll link it in the description and um, I think they just delivered it so I'm gonna go check before I get started because if so we're gonna try the new tripod out because mine is on its last leg <laughs> literally need to clean the windows it's so bad here we go again this is my third lap back this direction but we're gonna go see if the tripod got delivered because i think it did okay i think that's it also the wind has like scooted everything around and i watered my mom's in a um pan because they're better to water from the root i forgot to move them so all the wind broke my flowers. Just getting her like, I don't know if y'all can see me. So for Willow for Christmas, she does not need any more toys really. So I am working on, she's like obsessed with Daniel Tiger right now. So I'm getting her a few of the little books and then some of the DVDs. And then she also loves um, Doc McStuffins. So we don't have Disney Plus, but um, my friend has a membership and an, or a subscription. And occasionally I'll go on there and let her watch Doc McStuffins. And she's obsessed with that show. So I want to get her some of the DVDs because honestly, I'm at the point where I don't even want to use like anything really at this point subscription wise. I do have friendly TV, but I only watch that just me, but it's just like the commercials and stuff have just gotten so crazy and even just the ads for the shows. And I want to make sure that she has like her little shows and stuff. So we're going to get her some DVDs, some books and one or two little things. I'm also during vlogmas going to do a couple vlogs on that. I want to do like a stocking stuffer because now that she's two, 
she'll almost be two and a half at that point. She's kind of like at the point where everything is exciting. So I want to get her a uh, stocking and fill it with different things. So I think I want to do that for Vlogmas. I think that'll be fun. Um, this is this is my mind, y'all. I'm all over the place. But when cold weather comes through, it starts making me like playing ahead and all. But this is two of the things that I got so far. Um, I also got her a few DVDs. And I think I got her a few more books, too, to put up for Christmas. But that's where my mind is at right now. This is the tripod. I'm hoping it's actually good. I'm hoping y'all can actually see me too. So I ran across this on Amazon and I bought it. The brand is Tor Jim, Tor Him, whatever this is. It also is one of the ones that comes with a little remote if you want to link it to your phone where you can just like click to take a picture. I just need it to hold my phone because I don't have a vlog camera yet. One of my goals is, so my YouTube goal right now is for by December 31st, I want to be at a thousand subscribers and that's not like, that's not far fetched. Cause I think right now I'm at 150 or I'm one 854. So I think I can do it, <laughs> but that's my goal for this year. And then, um, I don't know next year, maybe it just kind of depends, but at the point like maybe where I could start being monetized and could get paid for doing this I want to actually get a vlogging camera because right now I'm using my phone and it just kind of makes it more difficult because um I like I run out of memory space and I do have a memory card that I use but I'm also editing from my phone and it, there's just a lot that goes into it I think so <laughs> I feel like if I had an actual vlog camera that it would probably be easier for me because I could just like you know set it up have multiple batteries for it if it dies or I can put another battery in versus my phone I'm plugging and I'm plugging all the time so we got the tripod now we gotta get a thousand subscribers which also it always helps if you like this video and share it and subscribe if you're not subscribed um but yeah so this looks like it's missing pieces I'm not excited about that like where it's the price of the assembly. There's like not even, or is it all in here? What? Okay, this is crazy. This makes so much more sense if that's how it works. But it's not really coming out. Okay, I see. So that's the top part. And then unlock the spot. Okay. Y'all, I don't know if y'all can see this. I like this so much better than the tripod I have now. It feels like it might be top heavy though. Um, I hope it's not. But this makes so much more sense. It has these little clips. I'm hoping it's not top heavy because it feels like it is. But I already like the setup of it. I told y'all this is going to be a long vlog, so this is a cleaning vlog slash day in the life slash Jessica's disorganized brain vlog. <laughs> okay, so lock them all into place. Ah, uh, no, we didn't. Let's see. Uh, so how does this one lock? So it also has a little phone clip which I'm thinking is going to fit on my phone yeah it'll fit um you can use this for like a camcorder or a camera or whatever but like I said I'm using my phone but I'm trying to let y'all see this because I'm friends with a lot of YouTubers on here and I feel like we're always looking for a good tripod I'm probably doing this so long Okay, I got the phone clip part on there. I feel like sometimes directions are just weirdly worded. Basically, you just take, um, you don't take any of this off. You just unscrew, right? Yeah, I didn't take anything off. <laughs> you unscrew this and then slide this onto the hook and tighten it. And put your phone in it. And it has like this little part here. 
And then it said something about this is for 360 shots, I guess, so that you can turn it easily. So I'm using wide angle lens where y'all can see. So this is my old tripod. This is my new tripod. So I guess you can kind of already see why I like the setup of this. Because I feel like when I walk by this one, it just knocks over. So I like that the three legs on this one are actually like full three legs instead of the little ones. And then on this one, I've already lost one of the caps. It fell off and broke. Couldn't find it. But you have these little caps that you have to do every single time and tighten and loosen. And it kind of drives me nuts. This one has little clips so like you'll have to pardon my sniffly nose you just open and close the clips that's like your tightening your your lock and unlock and then this collapses the whole thing and then i've already showed y'all like the way this clip is and then this one just has just the standard clip but um this gets loose a lot i have to screw this in all the time because it'll get wobbly and i like that this one is attached to that and i don't know if you can actually tell but this one is very like easy to knock over i mean this one you could knock over but you can see the difference like if you breathe wrong that one's gone that one could take a little bit so i definitely think i'm gonna like this but we're gonna use this one to film cleaning and i'm gonna quit wasting my time doing all this this tripod is not gonna work i'm so disappointed because i didn't think about it i don't know if y'all can see but this is the struggles of trying to do youtube with your phone so this is you know lance or portrait portrait mode so up and down and I have to have my phone sideways to film and no amount of loosening changes this. And I guess I didn't see this part, but I'm like trying, there's no, yeah, this isn't going to work. So that was a waste of my time. Um, but you can see this one, like the clip is automatically sideways, which you could do it upright, but this is how. How I have to do my YouTube vlogs. This one is like I'm loving the whole setup and everything and I mean I could see where even that could come in handy but I can't do it. It's not right so. Ugh. a little bit this is like lime and calcium build up and we never had an issue with this um that's just scratched but suddenly it's just started appearing like it's really bad right there like all over our faucets and stuff so i started using this clr just because it's literally calcium <laughs> lime rust but i just spray it after i clean it off and just let it soak for like two minutes and then rinse it off with some water and wipe it off with like a little cleaning rag. And it seems to get it. I don't know why it started doing it, but you can literally hear it bubbling it away. While that's soaking, I'm just going to do like a light dust over here. I'm close, not quite yet, but close to putting Christmas decor out in some places. So I'm not going to like deep clean the shelves from dust. Just really like spot clean some stuff for today i'm mostly just trying to like disinfect floors and surfaces and stuff 
since we were sick. Okay. didn't get all of it but I feel like it did help there it goes okay so it's definitely shinier and a little bitty bit right there can't get but it looks a lot better I just washed and bleached the shower curtain right before we got sick so I don't want to take it down again but I'm just going to do a little bit of Lysol and a little bit in the air. So the only thing I have left I need to do is I was going to sweep but I'm just going to wait till Willow gets up and back in the bedroom in the bathroom and steam mop. Here's a wide angle view since my camera's weird in the bathroom so small. Also that's what shirt got way too hot so it's gone. But yeah, it's mostly clean. Okay. Now it's time to clean or dust. I'm using the Miserous Myers apple cider. For a while I didn't like this scent, but I really like it now. It smells fresh. I'm just going to use this to wipe down the surfaces of the dressers and the nightstands. And then we've got laundry to put up. And when Willow gets up, we can do the floors.
Okay, so I got that laundry done, and y'all, I feel so stupid. I hung up t-shirts. Long story short, Michael's dresser has been packed to the max for like a year, and I've begged him to pull out the shirts that don't fit or he can't wear anymore. So, um, he finally did it. I told him, I was like, you've got to get these. The drawers are breaking. And so, some of them needed to be hung up. So, I, um, the ones that needed to be hung up, I hung up using the hangers that my clothes that are in the washer just come off of and I have the exact amount of hangers for clothing that I have because we've just broken some through the years and need more so now my load of clothes will probably sit in a basket for two or three days till I get to the store <coughs> my voice is cutting out again I've had a hard time losing my voice really bad this time since being sick I don't do it like it's like the past year or so anytime I get a little bit of a sniffle my voice is gone um, after I wash the bedding our blanket has like this ridiculous little light lint stuff on it and it just falls out all over the floor so I'm gonna wait for the floors till probably tomorrow because I also want to carpet clean so this vlog is gonna span over two days it may end up being well over an hour long because there's just a lot of stuff that need to be done so why not vlog it um I'm gonna wipe down the nightstands and then I need to change Willow's uh crib sheet really quick but I don't know if it was the blog, but I think it was the blog before this. I mentioned, long story short, <laughs> this is how all my stories start. Um, our refrigerator for about two months almost slowly went to the point of where the fridge is not that cold. And then the freezer portion is the temp that the fridge should be. So we've been using the freezer portion for our fridge and use the fridge for like ketchup and stuff. Um, st or like drinks that can't really go bad. So, Michael's on his way home. We have done everything there is to do to, like, clean out a fridge, all that. Can't make it work. So, my last effort is, I said, we could empty it out, put all the stuff in coolers with ice, and give it 24 hours, just unplug it. Maybe something's froze up we can't see and it'll thaw. Maybe something will reset. I don't know. So, he is on his way home now with some ice, and we're going to do that, and we're going to pray that that's the solution. We're going to give it 24 hours tomorrow to see if that's what it is. If it's not, we're just going to have to figure out a way to budget in getting a used fridge from someone reputable because we cannot buy no new fridge. That's like the one that we have is so basic. And I looked up last night, it's like 900 bucks plus the service plan. So that is insane. Tomorrow we've still got a ton more to do.
puffs. Can you guys, can you guys go there? Good morning, y'all. It's the. <laughs> Apparently, it's Christmas. We're singing jingle bells. Huh? Anyways, it's the next day. I'm making some breakfast slash lunch. I guess I don't know brunch. Um, but I woke up thinking about. <laughs> I saw it in a vlog yesterday, and then someone on Instagram had posted something. But I really love for a fast food lunch. I really love Starbucks has a like a tomato pestle turkey something I don't remember exactly what it is and then Panera Bread also has some really close to this but I want like a tomato mozzarella basil type sandwich sounds really good so I'm gonna try to do something here um, at the house I had to use bread out of the freezer and the first that I started off with was a freezer burn so I have like a little wheat bun roll and I have some cherry great tomatoes that I have halved and I'm gonna put in a pan just to sort of um, wilt them, I guess, a little with some olive oil. And look at my new pan, y'all. I love this. It's the uh, Drew Barrymore Beautiful. I was on Walmart.com the other night, and it had these listed for $11. So they were like 60% off. So anyways, I got this one. The rest were not. Um, I didn't necessarily need all of them. I really need to work on getting a new pot like this size that's the only one I really have <laughs> and then um at least like the non-stick kind and then I need like a big one but I got my tomatoes cooking I need those to kick it up a little bit my wheat uh several I'm gonna do just a little bit of mayo and some of this basil and that's gonna be my breakfast as soon as these decide to cook <laughs> so while that is deciding to cook um I was talking about the fridge and freeze so we pulled everything out of the fridge and freezer. I mean, I left like some coffee and stuff that didn't matter. It needs to be clean, but we're giving it 24 hours. Y'all, I'm praying so hard that all it needs is a good thaw and a reset maybe because that's the last effort. Um, we have coolers over here. Like, I did not cook a lot this week. I purposely did not cook a lot this week or buy a lot of like refrigerator um, groceries because I knew I was going to have to do this. So we've literally got coolers over here. That's our refrigerator for the moment. So I really need this to work because if not, we're going to be looking into getting a refrigerator hopefully within the next few weeks because it's it's crippling. Oh, so my, my tripod deal. Y'all, I feel like an idiot. So yesterday I was saying how I couldn't use this because it only had the phone set to portrait mode and I needed landscape. Literally all you do is this. Like how dumb? How dumb can you feel? So, needless to say, I still love this one. I'm going to use it for the rest of the day. But, um, I'm planning on pulling the bedding in a little bit after I get done eating and throwing that in the wash. But, still got to continue the deep cleaning today. Right now, I'm just trying to get breakfast ate.
has been a weird morning so I'm about to go wash my hair again um, I'm sitting here on the bed because my first thing one of my phone charger cords gave out a while back and then at some point this week one of the plugs that plug into the wall gave out so anyways um, I started off trying to charge my phone it is now like let's see it's 2 40 p.m. right now this is Wednesday um and my phone just finished charging completely. So I woke up with like 87% because I had unplugged it. And then I had a long phone call this morning. I had to edit today's vlog. I should already have had it up and premiered. But I just now finished getting it processed through YouTube. Now I've got to do like the cover photo or um, the thumbnail or the information on it. All that kind of stuff. So just now 3 o'clock. I'm about to go wash my hair. Willow did not take a good nap. Um, the refrigerator... <laughs> I plugged it back in and I put a bottle of water in the freezer to see if it gets cold. So I'm not going to open it for like probably about two hours or so just to see. And I'm hoping because like I mean the motor's running. There's no weird noise. Nothing like that. But I'm hoping so bad that it just needed maybe to thaw good or just unplug and reset. I don't know. I don't know what we're going to do for dinner tonight. I actually think that we might get something really quick fast food related. Try not to spend extra money just in case we have to, um, I mean, obviously, we're very likely going to have to buy a uh, another fridge. So, try not to spend that much extra money, but we don't have a ton of freezer foods or anything because I was also trying to, like, cook down some of the stuff in the freezer to make room for, um, it's hunting season if Michael got some meat, we need room for that. And then it getting cooler, I was going to have um, some freezer meals made up and then I have some Thanksgiving prep that I do. I like our freeze ahead of time. So this day has just been weird all the way around, but I'm about to get my hair washed. So I popped my head over the tub because I feel like I'm one of those people that has to shower before I get in bed. Like, I cannot get in bed. Ugh, okay, this isn't working. Um, I cannot get in bed if I'm not, like, fresh out of the shower because that's just gross to me. So, normally what I do is in the morning whenever I wake up or, like, today, halfway through the day, um, depending on how my day is going, I wash my hair, like, pop my head upside down in the tub and wash it. Um, some days I don't do that and I try not to wash my hair every day just so that it's easier on it. But I was thinking, um, I've had several people over the past probably two months just here and there ask me, um, questions about like, did I have a skincare routine? Someone mentioned they would like to see like hair care, hair growth tips, stuff like that. So basically like just general I guess, beauty, self-care, I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, I feel like I'm pretty simple, pretty basic. I don't wear makeup. Um, I curl my eyelashes and I wear chapstick. Lip gloss has about the extent of it. But I have tried to become a little better with my hair care and skin care. I use Walmart products for almost everything because I just can't be popping off money like some of these people do on their skincare products. If you can, that's good for you. Um, but I was thinking... Y'all can comment below and let me know if you like that idea. But I think for, let's see, this is Friday's vlog. So Sunday's the grocery haul as per usual. I think for Wednesday of next week, I'm going to do a, um, like, I don't know if I want to say like beauty routine. I feel like that sounds vain, but like the self-care beauty product routine. So I was thinking I would do a, um, like my skincare routine hair care routine and tips and try to share some products with y'all and I also want to do an updated morning routine because it's been a while and that was also requested so I want to do one for fall because I plan during vlogmas I want to do a morning routine and a night routine since things kind of change with the seasons and after time change and such so since time change is next weekend I think I want to go ahead and get a uh, morning routine vlog going so I think I think I'm not making any promises um 
I've learned better than to do that. But I think next week the plan is that Sunday we have the grocery haul vlog. Then Wednesday I will do um, like skincare, hair care, beauty regimen. I don't know. Whatever you want to call it kind of routine. And then for Friday I will do an updated morning routine. Or I will do it the other way around. Do the morning routine and then do like the, the hair and skin and all that. Um, but comment below if you like that idea and which one that you would like to see first. Because I'll probably film that like, I figure like Monday or so because it's Wednesday right now. So still thinking in advance, but I'm trying to get my schedule together because come Vlogmas, I'm going to have to like be right on top of it. So I'm trying to make sure like I catch up right now and I don't get behind and I get all the fall stuff done. And then also we're close to Thanksgiving. So right now my biggest thing is getting the fridge tended to. I'm going to go finish doing some more um, cleaning. like not even I mean it's only been two hours an hour and a half I'm just done a really quick check but I think it's shot I think we're just gonna have to get another one and I'm not ready for that I am not ready for that
Okay, so this is super random, but I'm in Willow's room, and this is the little Christmas tree we got her. It's 32 inches, so two and a half foot. Um, it's white, and it kind of has like a pink look from the rainbow lights, but it's basically the height of this box. Yeah. But at first, I thought I was going to put it up here, because I thought, oh yeah, that's perfect. But actually, I think I want to save that for a few little Christmas items, and I want to get her like a little piece of garland, I think, to just hang from those two shelves maybe is what i'm thinking um and the plug for that would have been over there so it would have been stuck out so now i'm trying to decide should i put her little tree because this i think i'm gonna do her nursery or her room whatever in a week or two um i'm trying to decide should i put her little tree over there or should i put it over here on her little nightstand table area and just move that little light i'm thinking over here because i rarely use this to change her I mostly get her dressed and everything in our room. So, let me know which one y'all think. I'll, I'll probably end up trying both out, but I think I'm going to go with the dresser area because I think that'll look cute. Um, but I think I'm going to do her room early. I think she would like it because she's going to love the little tree. And it will be kind of like a little nightlight for her room. And also, not going to lie, I kind of just want to get a peek at my Christmas stuff. <laughs>
so I was going to add in some um, kitchen deep clean because I wanted this to be a whole house deep clean and I expected it to be longer. <laughs> it clearly already is. Um, but I decided to wait because our refrigerator deal is not squared away. Um, we, we need a new one. So we're going to, well, uh, new to us. We're going to try to get one. There's one tomorrow. I think we might go look at it. I think it, it looks okay. Um, but we're just going to have to get one that's like pre-owned and that we see that works before we take it home, obviously. Um, but I decided there was no point in deep cleaning the kitchen right now because obviously moving this fridge out and then the other one in and we'll have to move around some stuff in the kitchen. Like I'll have to move my coffee bar cart out of the way to get that going that way. Just a lot of little maneuvering. So there's really no point in me deep cleaning it right now. So I think what I will do is, um... Either at the point we get the fridge, I'll do a deep clean of the kitchen video or closer to Thanksgiving because, like, I really need to clean out my oven. And um, I was just about to do a fridge deep clean and organizing, but obviously can't do that. So I will get to the kitchen, just not in this vlog. But I feel like up to this point, we've had a good amount on this vlog. I got a lot done. I did not get the living room done, but honestly, the only thing that I was going for in the living room was I wanted to wash the couch cushions and... I actually think I'm going to wait till closer to Thanksgiving for that too because it hasn't been that long since I've done it. And I didn't shampoo the carpets, but I think I'm going to do that tomorrow, hopefully. And I want to wash the curtains still, but we got so behind with the fridge today, I didn't get to that. So there will still be more cleaning and vlogs yet to come if you like this type of thing. So the last thing I really had to do in the living room was to steam mop the floors. This past week has just been so hectic.
between dealing with getting over sickness and then having to deep clean everything around the house when we were done because I just kept it like spot clean and there was just a lot of little things that was pressing that I wanted to get done. I just felt like I really had to put some effort into this clean. This actually ended up spanning over about three days. And I don't always do things like shampoo the carpets and stuff. But I do like to do that regularly. I feel like it freshens the air. And we do have a lighter rug here in the living room. So with as much <laughs> traffic comes through this area and Willow with her snacks and things, I just like to keep it extra clean. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Again, if you wouldn't mind hitting the thumbs up and liking this video, commenting, subscribe, do all the things. It helps my channel out so much. We are getting close to 1K. I've mentioned that so much in this video, but I mean, that's ultimately the goal here with YouTube. So every little bit helps my channel get along and I just love meeting all the new people here. If you're new and you're linking over from Felicia's channel, please comment below and introduce yourself. I love to engage with everyone. I like seeing the regular names pop up. And if you are an existing subscriber here all the time, please go check out her channel. I will have her link in the description and in the comments below. Like I mentioned earlier, she's a stay-at-home mom, lives in Texas. She's going to be doing a day in the life of a stay-at-home, work-from-home mom. So I'm excited to watch her video, and I hope that y'all will go show her some support. Be sure you comment and let her know that you're linking over from my channel. And if you're new here from her channel, thank you so much. I hope you will subscribe and I will see you guys on Sunday at 5 p.m. Central Standard Time with our grocery haul. And we are currently stocking up for Thanksgiving because it's not that far away. So if that's your thing, please come back and I will see you guys then. Bye.